What up, G Life? It's your boy, MC Shadow, back at you with another video. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if share if possible, because it does help out my channel. Now, what I wanted to talk about was something um, that, you know, this individual and me were, um, you know, debating about. Uh, he'll call it an argument. I will call it debating. Uh, yeah, because I wasn't trying to argue. Um, I was just, just stating the facts. Uh, some people get mad at the facts, I guess. Now, you know, it was a conversation that me and him were having. And um, and then a separate video I had seen where, uh, you know, this... Uh, well, actually, it was several individuals were, were talking smack about uh, Danny Trejo, the actor. And I found the comments that they were putting, you know... Um, awfully funny um so you know the argument that me and this individual were having according to him uh was in the video that i had made where i um was talking about the hypocrisy in america um and that had to do with our military um now apparently he didn't understand the purpose of that video uh because in no way or form am, am i um am i talking smack about the military, the men and women that serve in our in our you know military. Um, I was talking about military in, in general. I wasn't even talking about the United States uh, military. I was actually talking about uh, you know military in, in all countries, warfare in general. Um, now, why warfare in general? Um, because it's not. I'm not talking smack about the you know I. Give it up to those who fight for our country and everything like that, you know, um, you know, and, the, and their services and everything like that. But I'm talking about the hypocrisy in America because now I don't know. I don't I don't think people give it any thought of how war works or, or have any idea of how w war works. You know what I mean? Because it probably doesn't interest them that much in order to, you know, uh, realize, you know, how war happens. But I'm going to give it just a small breakthrough for those who don't know how war happened. Uh, I'll go back to the uh, World War uh, II incident because um, I think that's a perfect example of, of what I'm talking about. Um, when we declared war on Japan because Japan bombed us, right? So we declared war on Japan. I don't know if uh, people are aware of our first action of, of war. Um, the first, uh, how can I say, um, the response that we gave back to Japan. So, you know, obviously our ships were, you know, badly, you know, bombed. You know, because of Pearl Harbor and everything like that. But you know, within two months, you know, we got, you know, we got, we got a plan going, and, and you know, we we sent the ships out there, you know, and, and some carry-on planes that you know had some smaller uh, uh, modified bomber airplanes. So our first act of revenge was we send these bombers, and they bombed the shit out of J uh, out of Tokyo. Tokyo. Uh, you know, the city of Tokyo. Where there's innocent people All those people that lived in Tokyo my boy Had nothing to do with the government's actions Their decisions None of that But this is how war works You know you go to the You know the, the, the country's main You know capital place And stuff like that And you bomb the You bomb the F out of it Yes Millions of innocent people died Die When there's warfare like that You go and you bomb the shit Out of their main capital None of these people that have to We're not, we're not saying military bases We're not saying govern, govern, uh, government buildings here we're talking about just their main plate and just bomb the crap out of it. Anything and everything. That is how warfare works. So while people may think that, I think people think that war is like how it was back in the days where they meet up in this open field and they just start having gun battles. That's not how warfare works, bro. How warfare works, you send your tanks, whatever, they go into the, the these, these cities, my boy, and they start blowing everything up, homie. This is how war works. This is what happens. You know, yet people praise these people and call them war heroes and, and, and honor them with holidays and, and stuff like that. Where's the innocent people are dying? You guys are killing innocent people. All oh, the streets become war zones. Where's all of that? Where is all of that? Where's all the defense and the cry and the uproar that people are always making? Okay, so now it's okay for innocent people to die. Or it's not okay, or, or, or it's okay when countries do it, or what is the exact uh, rules? Like, how do we exactly separate these these things? 
Like, so it's only okay if they do it and, and these people don't do it. Uh, what gives them the, the right to? Um, how do we separate these issues, you know? When is it okay and when does it not become okay to kill innocent people? If we could, if we could get somebody right here to, to explain it and break it down for us, you know, and maybe help better understand the situation, we would highly appreciate it. Understand that I'm not just someone that talks out of my ass. I understand that I do, you know, educate myself and I do, you know, you know, dive into a lie. I, I often get people in the comments saying that, oh, well, watch this and watch that. And it's like, this is stuff I already watched. I don't come and just talk, you know, just because I've seen a video like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> this is something that I spend, you know, my, I, I really do love educating myself. Um, a lot of gang members do. It's just that the narrative has always been that, you know, we're idiots that don't know nothing. Um, you know, they always say don't underestimate anybody yet. <laughs> they always sleep on us. Um, you get what I'm saying? Um, look, I never come on my channel to defend gang members and their actions and stuff like that. If we're gonna if we're gonna tell the truth about something like people claim that they say let's spit the truth about it then let's spit the truth about it if we're gonna criticize something or if we're gonna tell the story on something let's tell the full story and not just give our halves you know what I mean because every time people want to criticize you know homies and stuff like that they always give their tells right they always just specifically tell half of the story all the negative <laughs> um, you know because it was funny what they're putting about Danny Trejo you know like you know, oh, what, what, why do people support this guy and his, and his gangster, you know, macho talk and praise him because he went to jail and San Quentin and stuff that you shouldn't be honoring and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he created a bunch of jobs. You know what I mean? He opened a bunch of businesses and, and, and supplied the last with a lot of jobs. You know what I mean? It hooked up a lot of people that were trying to come up the game. Right. His past is his past. Yes, you can't change that. You know what I mean? I have always said this. The, our past will never write the ending in our book you get what I'm saying uh, though just because of your decisions then who you were then doesn't mean that that's the person that you are now you get what I'm saying and it's never too late to you know to, to change that except that there's people out there that will refuse to see all the positivity stuff that that comes with it you know what I mean and, and just chooses to be stuck and focus on the the negative you know what I mean um, just because they feel some type of way about that. So this is so this message that you're talking about right here uh, to try to open the people's eyes or whatever. Um, it, it, it's not really your message, you know. Your message is just to keep their eyes focused on the negative. Then, so therefore, the very exact same thing they were saying about Danny Trejo is the very exact same thing that they're doing. The hip the hypocrisy right here is, is is ridiculous. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, they want to be pointing out, like, the flaws in Danny Trejo and stuff like that when they're doing the very exact same stuff. You get what I mean? Um, because, you know, in the chat that they were having, um, they're getting now views, you know, because it's due to something that still has to do with the whole uh, him being in prison and, 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 and focus in on that. You know what I mean? Uh, and it was going back to what I was saying, even like they were talking about the comedians that make fun of like gang members and everything like that. So then that's okay. So it's okay to still talk about the gangster stuff and everything like that. But when it's talking shit about them, so it's still okay to make revenue that way and not this way then, even though it's still wrapped around the gangster lore. That's what I'm talking about. The hypocrisy is ridiculous. Okay. So it's okay to now focus in on all of that. But if you're criticizing and you're talking shit about it, you know? Um, you know what I mean? Like, let's tell the full story of, of everything and not tell halves. Um, you get what I mean? Um, I never heard Danny Trejo ever say, you know, he's like, you know, you know, positivity. You know, you know what I mean? Like, he, he's just trying to do him and he's just trying to come up. You know what I mean? Like, he's, and it's funny because he doesn't boast out there that he created jobs for all these individuals. Like, he doesn't brag and he doesn't go around saying all of that. He's just doing what he's doing. And yet people hate on the on his hustle still. It, it, that's ridiculous, you know. Um, it's sad, really. Um, like me, for example, I never come on here on my channel saying that I'm promoting peace or I'm promoting this, this, and that. You know, uh, I'm simply, you know, giving our people the, our perspective. Uh, what makes individuals become this way? You get what I mean? Uh, that way, they know to what signs to look after and to help better understand maybe why, you know, people that they know chose this, you know, lifestyle 
or why they think the way they think or you know getting people to understand the scenario better my job is never coming on here uh to try to um to try to tell you that these guys are, are saints and they're misunderstood in it and, and all of that my job is just my job is all it is is to tell you why they became this way not that hey give them give them give them a give them a pass you know what i mean nah i'm simply saying that well they're like this because this is this, this occurred uh that way people better understand of what now to look after you know in their own children or their own you know younger siblings or whatever to look after now they know what signs to look after or, or you know how to better address situations instead instead of you know them making the same mistakes that people been making that keep making the, these homeboys uh, because although people like to think that other gangs make gang members, you know what I mean? Like they kidnap, like they, like in the night they go down your chimney and they kidnap the the kids, and the, and then the next the next day in, in the morning they drop them off and he's officially a gang member. That's not how it works. This is a process, you know what I mean? A process that that's that's been in, in, in um, it, on in the works for for quite some time already. You know what I mean? These, it, this doesn't happen overnight. Uh, these individuals have been feeling this type of way for quite some time already. Um, and it's not because the gang members are peer pressuring them, you know, and stuff like that. Um, that's what people get wrong. Um, you can't do nothing about these individuals that are already out there. You know what I mean? What's out there is already out there. Uh, but what you could do is uh, know um, what not to do now. Uh, or, or make the same mistakes with your children or your young, younger siblings uh, so they don't turn to the streets. Um, that's the goal. And in, in order for that to happen, yes, you must speak about these events. Yes, you must talk about all of this. Um, never praise and glorifying it. That's the reason why I never talk about, if, if you notice on my channel, I never talk about like personal like war stories that I've been in, to, like in, you know what I mean? Like I never talk about like, Scenarios that I've been in or, or or when I'm talking about neighborhoods, I never talk about uh, the activities that they have done like, oh, well, this gang is known for, you know, for going in, you know, blah, blah, blah. I never give because then that that is glorifying it. You know what I mean? I, I simply uh, break down the, these neighborhoods where they're at and, and people think that I'm glorifying it because I say that, that, that they with the business and stuff like that. That's not glorifying it. That's stating the facts. They are dangerous. They are notorious. They're all of that. These are all real true factors. When they're breaking down history to you and they're talking about the Nazi party or they're talking about any of these um, empires, right? They say that they were ruthless, you know, you know, conquered and everything. People don't see that as glorifying it, right? You know, these people are doing heinous crimes and doing all this, this and that. They're not glorifying it, right? No, they're not. They're teaching you about this, right? And why is it important to teach history? That way history does not repeat itself. If you, if people think by choosing not to talk about something that these people, like that's how you fix the problem when it's not true. That is the, how these problems started to begin with. You know what I mean? People have to always keep this in mind. Let me break it down for people to understand. Keep this in mind. You know how you guys say that? Oh, because of these gang members and everything. Remember this. Gang mem gangs have not always existed. Gangs weren't always around, right? So when there was no gangs, what made the first batch of gang members? Because everybody always blames the gang, says that it's the gang's fault, right? Okay. So whose fault was it before gangs even existed then? And what started these gangs? And could it not be that very exact same thing that produced the first gangs that keeps producing the gangs till now? No, you want to know why that can't be it? Because you now, if you if you look at that, you can't blame the gangs there, right? Because gangs didn't exist. So who's to blame? That's the reason why people will don't want to choose to look at that. Because the sad truth is, and, and, and the real answer is an answer that they don't want to hear and it's an answer they don't like. It's so easy to blame something on, on what's negative already, what already exists. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when people set people up, you know, well, they're already gang members, so they'll, uh, they'll think that it's him, you know, since he's already the bad guy, they'll automatically assume it's him. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's so easy to do that. It's kind of like, you know where they got it down perfect? In the, in the scene in Blood In, Blood Out, right? Where, where, where he cuts uh, Miklo's paycheck and he's like, hey, you know, like, where's my money? And he's like, well, you stole it from the, from the safe. Uh, 
and he's like, oh, you're, you're doing it to pay your gambling debt. He's like, all right, uh, nice story, convict. Uh, I'll call the cops. I'll tell him my version. I'll tell him your version, and let's see who they'll believe. That's a perfect example. Yeah, let's keep blaming the gangs. People have said gang members are stupid, low lives. You get nothing out of this life, you'll die, and blah, blah, blah. Always talking shit, bashing them. They've been saying that shit about gang members since... Since uh, since the fucking 1800s, you know what I mean? Uh, every gang member gets told that story, you know? I have gotten told that story. Everyone gets told that story. And guess what? These mother efforts still become gang members. Maybe, maybe that's not working. Maybe that's not true. Maybe that's not, you know, maybe that's not none of that. Maybe it doesn't even have to do with that. But what the hell do I know? Just the person that became a gang member, right? But what would I know? You know, it's, it's awfully funny that people choose to listen to the people that don't belong in gangs instead of the ones that do belong in gangs. I would figure that the one that became a gang member is the one that's going to know what makes a gang member than the person that has absolutely no gang ties whatsoever. No, because why? Why no? Because nothing positive could come out of your mouth. Nothing good could come out of you. Because you're just a piece of worthless scum that doesn't even deserve to breathe. That is how they see us, bro. And what is that? That's a form of oppression, no? And when you keep trying to oppress people, what happens? You get a negative uh, response. People come out here and be talking all this smack, and then they wonder why they get socked up and stuff like that. Like, like you honestly thought by replying negative that you were going to get a positive reply back? That you were going to get some form of positivity? When has... When has it ever worked where you come talking shit to somebody or you come just bashing an individual or just dismantling them and, and, and all their flaws? Like if people haven't made flaws out there and everything like that, like if people don't make mistakes, um, you know, people think just because they don't belong in gangs that they're perfect individuals that create uh, no flaws, that, that they themselves uh, cannot commit errors. Um, miss me with all of that, bro. You know, that's people's egos. Um talking uh, because all those people were criticizing Danny Trejo I mean they're not creating no jobs they're not you know uh, putting people up you know hiring them and stuff like that they're not doing none of that while this individual yeah his past is his past but I mean he's doing way more for the hit than you than you than you fuck faces are doing so you know what I'm saying you know they could criticize his 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 uh, past and his, you know, character all they want. And I'm not here to defend the guy, you know what I mean? I'm not a Danny Trejo fan or whatever. I mean, yeah, his movies are cool and everything, but I'm not like, you know, like, it's not like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I'm offended for him and stuff like that. It's just that, um, like, okay, we're going to point out the hypocrisy and we're going to tell the full story and then let's tell the full story. But it's funny how they are, people always want to give just their slips and slides and versions. Uh, that's why people don't like my channel. They don't like what I speak about. And they think that I'm defending them. I'm not defending them. I'm simply saying, if we're going to tell the full story, let's tell the full stories. You know what I mean? Let's not tell half of anything. I come out here saying, gangs are stupid. It's better stay in school. You get nothing out of this life. That's me. I always say that in my videos. I'm pretty sure you guys heard it a hundred times right here. And that's me genuinely giving my honest opinion on it. And then also stating the facts, you know. Stating, you know, you know, uh, you know, this, this, and that, you know, reasonings behind all of it. I'm not just talking out of my ass with just jokes behind it or, or, or insults. You know what I mean? You know, the reason why people sit down and, and listen is because I'm providing, you know, some, you know, background to it. You know what I mean? Um, giving people an understanding. Um, you know, an understanding of why it's not good and understanding why they become this way. Uh, it's never one sided on anything. The reason why uh, people choose to say that about my channel, whatever, is because it comes with the understanding, and that's what they don't want. You know what I mean? Because they refuse to 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 believe that there's any kind of understanding that the, 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 um, that there could possibly be something more to this than just the negative gangs. That what if something else plays a factor within it, and that's what they don't want to realize. You know the truth. What was this famous line said by Jack Nicholson? You can't handle the truth. I know. That's a real saying because it's 100% true. A lot of people can't handle the truth. How old, how the truth hurts.
See, I could accept the truth that gangs are stupid, they wasted our lives and all of that. We can accept that. Us being gang members, we accept that. We acknowledge it. We recognize it. That's the reason why most of our kids don't turn out to be gang members. We realize about the foolish decisions we made or whatever. The reason why gangs keep getting produced, gang members keep getting produced, is because these individuals that become gang members, their parents are not gang related. Isn't it funny how the people that are not gang related kids turn out to be gang members than the ones that are gang members their kids don't turn out to be gang members i wonder why maybe these mother efforts actually know what they're talking about maybe these mother efforts actually you know to provide change nah it's just luck <laughs> i'm just saying just my take on the matter you know what i'm saying um if we're gonna tell full stories about uh, subjects and individuals, and let's tell full stories. I'm just saying, I'm shadow we out.